creep now. LC is go for launch. PLT confirmed. PLT confirmed. Go for launch. T minus 15 seconds. Pilot is go for launch. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop. And Pegasus is away. Standing by for ignition. And we have stage one ignition. Ignition of the Pegasus rocket with New Star for an understanding of the ultimate destinies of our stars and galaxies. Fin actuator system operating nominally. Fins following commands and controlling the flight of the vehicle. Power bus is strong. PDU is enabled. Vehicle flight path is nominal, flying the normal trajectory. This is Steve Hollow, our launch systems Stage one engineer. The time was 160042. Attitude remains nominal, past max Q. Power bus is strong, nominal voltage and current on all buses. Past power bus strong, passing 100,000 feet. Approximately 10 seconds to stage one burnout. 10 seconds to stage one burnout. Attitude. Vehicle IIP is through the narrowest part of the corridor. Stage one burnout. Stage one burnout. Approximately 15 seconds to stage one separation. Stage two ignition. Vehicle power buses remain strong. Stage two TVC on and nominal. Stage one sep. We have stage one sep. Stage two ignition confirmed. Stage two ignition. Attitude remains nominal during stage two burn. Stage two will last for approximately 70 seconds. And we have that attitude nominal. Power buses remain strong. Stage two TVC operating nominally, controlling the flight of the vehicle during stage two burn. Vehicle flight path remains nominal. Stage TVC voltage is nominal. Vehicle performance is nominal. Fairing separation, yeah, right fairing and set. left half indicate separation. Vehicle performance is nominal after fairing set. GNC confirms fairing separation. Attitude remains nominal, approximately 15 seconds to stage two burnout. Vehicle flight path remains nominal, flying the normal corridor. Stage two burnout. We have stage two burnout. Vehicle performance is nominal. Altitude, Vehicle velocity, and flight path are nominal at stage two burnout. At this point in the mission, Pegasus is entering a stage two three coast period, which will last approximately six minutes. S band is on stage three. We have normal uh, telemetry here in the center after the switch to the stage three telemetry antennas. Power buses remain strong. RCS is being used to control the vehicle attitude during this coast phase. Power buses remain strong approximately 200 seconds into the New Star mission. All components temperatures nominal. Stage three ignition time has been calculated as 573 seconds. That is approximately 350 seconds from now. Stage three guidance has converged to a good stage three solution. Attitude remains nominal. Vehicle systems remain nominal approximately 250 seconds into the New Star mission. Power bus is nominal. Vehicle altitude is approximately 220 miles, traveling at 11,400 miles per hour.
ecological systems operating nominally still in the coast phase. Vehicle attitude remains nominal. RCS is quiet. Coming up now on acquisition through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Nominal. Power buses remain strong on all three buses. Vehicle altitude is now 265 miles. vehicle is coasting up to an altitude of approximately 387 miles. Vehicle attitude is nominal. RCS is properly controlling the vehicle at this stage during the coast phase. Attitude remains nominal, all systems nominal. Avionics and transient lithium ion batteries performing very well. Telemetry may, remains error free in the center as we continue the stage 2 3 coast period. This is the voice of Steve Hollow, the orbital flight systems engineer. All vehicle component temperatures are nominal, approaching 400 seconds into the New Star mission. Vehicle attitude is nominal. Vehicle altitude is 330 miles. New Star spacecraft telemetry shows sun on the solar arrays of the observatory. Power buses remain strong. All vehicle systems nominal. Vehicle altitude is approaching 350 miles. In approximately 50 seconds, the vehicle will reorient in preparation for stage three burn. And PLT, I'll look to get uh, step 190 from you in a few minutes. Roger. All systems remain nominal. Power buses remain strong. Vehicle attitude is quiet and nominal. Taking some telemetry hits, but telemetry quality is still good. Expecting acquisition from Hawaii uh, in several seconds. If we do lose signal, we expect uh, the Hawaii tracking station to pick us up shortly. Now at 500 seconds into the Pegasus New Star mission, vehicle altitude is 372 miles, all systems nominal. The reorientation maneuver for stage three burn has begun. Vehicles slewing over. Uh, vehicle telemetry is now being received from Hawaii, which is our downrange asset for this mission. Attitude remains nominal. Vehicle continues through its reorientation maneuver for stage three burn. Vehicle is now completing the reorientation maneuver, approximately 35 seconds to stage three ignition. Stage three TVC is on. Stage two separation, th uh, 11 seconds to stage three ignition. Attitude remains nominal. Stage 3 status good.
Stage three ignition. Attitude nominal, stage three TVC performing nominally and controlling the flight of the vehicle during the stage three burn. Stage three burn will last approximately 70 seconds. Stage three TVC is operating nominally. Vehicle attitude is nominal. Power bus is strong with uh, appropriate load shedding for the configuration of the vehicle. We are now 10 minutes into the Pegasus New Star mission and all systems are nominal. 30 seconds to stage three burnout. TVC operating nominally, stage three burn progressing, approximately 15 seconds to burnout. Vehicle attitude remains nominal. Power bus is strong. We have stage three burnout. Vehicle is in orbit. Preliminary data shows the new star vehicle to be placed in a nominal targeted orbit. Final data will be presented after payload separation. Vehicle is now undergoing a 180 degree turn in order to get to the right orientation for payload separation. Vehicle systems remain nominal, power bus is strong. Vehicle attitude and power buses are nominal. Vehicle is still performing its slew maneuver to uh, orient this uh, vehicle uh, correctly for new star separation. Loss of signal at Kwajalein, everything coming through the Hawaii tracking station now. Spacecraft on Tedris. This coast phase is intended to prevent contamination on the New Star vehicle. So we have two minutes to go till payload separation. Approximately three seconds after payload separation, the New Star transmitters will power on and expect first contact via Tedris and the USN Hawaii ground station. Vehicle attitude remains nominal. Vehicle is properly pointed for spacecraft separation. Spacecraft separation is predicted for 821 seconds. Vehicle power buses remain strong. Attitude remains nominal. Vehicle attitude is quiet. RCS performance nominal. Closing in on 30 seconds until payload separation. One minute after payload separation, the New Star Observatory begin deploying their solar arrays. Vehicle attitude remains nominal. Power buses remain strong. And correction, uh, we are now 30 seconds away from payload separation scheduled for 821 seconds after launch. Attitude remains nominal. Power bus is strong. Payload separation. New star separation from Pegasus. Pegasus vehicle is now implementing a CCAM maneuver to uh, prevent recontact with the New Star spacecraft. Operation. Initial data shows that the apogee of the uh, insertion orbit is 632.8 kilometers. Perigee is 626.9 kilometers. Inclination is 6.024 degrees. On target orbit for New Star. Uh, New Star reports that the spacecraft has been acquired via TDRS. And in uh, about 10 more seconds, the Pegasus transmitters will be commanded off. Not yet. LOS and 
five seconds. LOS, this completes the Pegasus New Star mission to successfully place New Star in orbit and begins the multi-year mission for New Star to search for black holes. And we have confirmation that solar array deployment has been started. Uh, stand by. The uh, generation of the state vector message is in work and uh, will be transmitted as soon as it's verified. So solar array deployment will take about six minutes to complete. That should be finished about 20 minutes after launch. Second solar array panel coming out. Uh, New Star spacecraft state vector has been received here in the center and is the process of being verified. This is Pegasus Launch Control, 16 minutes, 48 seconds into the flight of the Pegasus rocket. We are going to be standing by on our launch coverage to hear that all of the New Star solar arrays are out. And uh, at that point, we will have Tim Dunn, our launch director, our assistant launch director, come over and give us a status. Uh, the uh, third solar array panel is now being uh, commanded to release. We have five total uh, solar arrays to deploy solar panels. State vector has been uh, transmitted uh, to the email list that was pre-coordinated from New Star and NASA. Uh, 